We came in. Really, really big overture here. Hey everyone, I'm Alfred. Uh, welcome back to Marathon. This is episode three, part three. Um, last time we attempted to rescue some blobs, but they are not particularly known for their fastidiousness in combat. So uh, Lila was disappointed in us. Medical access terminal. Time is limited. There's a large group of Hemley armored for approaching the section of the ship. I've transported you. Logical destination of the sensitive engineering areas in the aft section. We're not in a position to halt their advance by force. I've decided to depressurize a large area in their path to slow their progress. I cannot remotely seal the airlocks and isolate the zone I wish to depressurize from the nearby living quarters. Exposing this area to space without first isolating it would kill hundreds of humans crew, human crew. You will have to go and close the doors. Um, first airlock, second door. So, got one of these, huh? You know what is a level in Doom that I don't feel people talk enough about? Dead Simple. Dead Simple is fantastic. Oh, that's a purple guy. Now nah, let's go loud. So, they appear to use like a static. Oh, God, is this a puzzle? Fuck, don't tell me that. Oh boy. This can't be good. I think this might work though. Yeah, all right. So yeah, in Doom, you cannot jump. In Doom, you can't jump, so in order to clear passages like that, you have to fuck shit. You have to basically get a running start and then just ramp over it. Okay. Smells like napalm, tastes like chicken. This is still... The, the naming conventions for, this, for these levels are still so bungee. Okay, so that opened this thing. Neat. Will come back down. It will. Good. Okay. Mm can I? Okay, so that'll reach the bottom. Let's get the big one. I've got to stop using my fist so much. Is this gonna go? Um. Oh man, am I gonna have to? Oh boy. Oh fuck. Hey, so I went to go check my walkthrough, but as it happens, this is actually the last puzzle, which means that I should go do this later. And I will. So first, we're heading this ways. Buggyloids. Oh, God. Oh, this is interesting. Cryo... Cryo storage unit. These are bodies in here. These are people either in sick. This is what she meant by it, it was a residential thing. People are, are, are in cold storage over here. This is. This is really good. This is actually a really good video game. Uh, I highly recommend everyone go play this.
Um, trace prohibition compensated. Beerian border of the Northern Empire to the Danube River. During a skirmish of barbarians in Raytan, the mountains near the Borough near modern France and Switzerland. Hundred one one seven. Interesting. Uh, 117 men under Gaius Licentius Marcus <laughs> of weird and frightening monsters under his control. Many successfully raids under the fall of the Roman Empire and remain in unmolested until the ninth of the game. Ridden into the Lex Vista. Clovis moved the settlement farther. S Clovis is an important name in Destiny. Um, um, there's, a, there's an important character called Clovis in Destiny. I don't remember anything else besides his name. Uh, to escape the notice of Charlemagne and later the Holy Roman Empire, Clovis Remain. 1902, Friedrich just recently both carried out reforms before their deaths, which slowly integrated their people secretly in a world society, which are now scattered all over the globe to meet only once every seven years. Eight, year seven. In Southeast France, must be chosen. Trace mode error, unimplemented inline trap, spurious intent, further access denied, for each location undetermined. Weird. Okay. I'm pretty sure that that was about the Illuminati. Um, I find it interesting that it mentions Charlemagne, since Cortana and Durandal are both names of the swords belonging to Charlemagne's knights. Sorry, Charlemagne. It's a French name, so I've got to say it like a complete asshole, as is the uh, the French way. this way god this don't you love mazes of twisted patterns and passages all alike okay. motion tractor uh, tractor <laughs> boy you better load up on that motion tractor shit man oh my god I'm all the way back here Hey, so yeah, uh, my last save. I didn't. I guess I forgot to save. Um, so yeah, I just had to beat that last mission again. It was pretty annoying. Um, the saves are something that I'm okay with, but like Doom allowed you to save at any time. You know, like come on, man. On the other hand, it is, that is something that makes Doom a lot easier to play because the fact that you can just save scum your way to even better RNG really does make doom guy uh able to take on threats in the world way way more efficiently and it's what is this is that the airlock but it's my cat's in here he wants dinner but he knows he gets fed later Mister. Okay. Um. Yeah, the thing about um Halo system of checkpoints is that sometimes it's unfair because it'll just checkpoint you when you're totally, totally fucked over. Oh, I think that's one of them. Yeah, I think it is. Um, and yeah, that sucks. But the thing is, it does make the game a lot harder. Since normally you would, you know, just be able to save scum all over the place, because that's how it works in, you know, your quakes, your dooms, your half-lifes. You are fully, freely able to just save any and everywhere, and you are given really no incentive to not to. Barring certain speedrun goals. And, like, not everyone cares about those. So, like, some people were pretty upset with the change to, like, um, Doom saving system by the time that Doom 4 came around. But, like, dude, it's way easier if you can just save anywhere.
Oh god, I just forgot something. One moment, everyone. Alright, sorry about that, everyone. I had something very, very simple and boneheaded that I had... Hello, sir. Something very simple and boneheaded I had forgotten to do. Uh, and it was imperative that I do it as quick as possible. Hey, we got a save point, though. Which meant that I probably could have waited for a little bit just to make sure that my game would have been fine. But whatever, I'm stupid. God. They are feeding me these grenades. Do they stop doing that in the sequel? Because, like, I feel like I should get my kicks in now when I have, like, free reign to just go bananas, you know? Oh, shit. See, that's why you shouldn't do that, kids. Using the map to navigate is, like, fine, but, like, you're gonna get yourself fucked up if you're not careful. Do that home? Do those home? That's super bad. All right. So this is probably the other one. Oh god, why did I choose to fist him? Why did I choose to fist him? It's just insisting on a fisting. Okay, so if I go... And then I stop because... There you go. Much better. All right, and then where am I? That's the that's the start. Okay, cool. I have figured out where I am. I really like that whenever Leela shows me a map, it has to. It usually includes a little "you are here" like a mall kiosk. I think that that's funny. Oh God. Okay, now I'll back myself in a corner. Who oh boy. Okay. All right. Ah, oh, it's so gooey every time. Jeez, man. These bugs are no joke. I'm kind of surprised that, like, they're such a legitimate threat. <laughs> oh, they can fit under those doors. Gross. Okay. Does this allow me to go up? I just noticed that, um... I mean, it's likely I've noticed this before, but I've just... I'm now pointing out that the grenade launcher, little, uh, little... shot will, like, put you back a bit. It'll... It'll force you backwards. Which is good. It ensures that the weapon has weight. Which isn't always easy to do. Like, in Doom, you fire, like, 50 rockets a second. It isn't quite that quick, but it is pretty prodigious how fast Doom Guy is able to shoot. I think the chain gun will scoot you backwards a little bit, and I think the... Chain gun. I think the super shotgun might as well. Or at least halt your forward momentum. But yeah, that's always a really good way to make sure that... 
your character feels like they're carrying a strong weapon. Huh. I'm getting lost again. Ah! Damn it. Damn it. Alright. Hey, I'm back, and I have hilariously low health. Which ought to make this extra fun, right? Luckily, I have a lot more ammunition. I believe so, at least. Um... As for what I'm doing, where I'm going, no idea. Fuck, I could probably just head back and save right now, huh? The way that the, the HUD looks and works, like, the enemies uh, essentially leave little after images of themselves behind. And you may notice that, like, it essentially takes a little while for them to actually go away. Oh, God. And so sometimes it makes... It tricks you into thinking that there's more enemies than there actually are. Which is, like, just whiff, you know? Whiff, man. Okay, so I fell down that little thing. And that stopped me from... My son, please stop crying. <laughs> I looked at him for the half a second. God damn it. Come here, come here, hold on. Can you hear him, everyone? The little bastard. Meowing. Special guest appearance by my cat. Um, this uh, is turning out to be kind of difficult. Might take a short break. But, you know, see you guys in a bit. Hey, everyone, I'm back. Welcome back to Marathon. Though I didn't really like, this is still the same episode. Uh, turns out there was actually a uh, health refill not 10 feet away from uh, that save point. So I was really doing this the hard way for no reason. Um, it's the next day. On account of me having to go to bed. I also had to uh, put up with... I'd, uh, I've, been, I've been doing maintenance shit around the house for like all morning. For breakfast, I had a single, nope, one and a half raisin cookies. That's what I had for breakfast. The wife's grandma came by, who is now my grandma, because, you know, such as it is. I think I read this one. I did, yeah. Because it's about the Luminati. Um, but yeah, my new grandma, my wife's grandma, came by. You know, to visit, say hey. Trying to switch to this. Um, brought a big platter of cookies. We've eaten all the good ones, so now we're just left with the raisin cookies. Oh boy. Wow. That was pretty good. Should be a lot. Should buy a lottery ticket. So is that the airlock thing I needed? I would hope so. Because now it means that I can go back and do that puzzle. Oop. Nice. Okay, cool. Uh, so yeah. All I had for uh, breakfast was some raisin cookies. Though afterwards, I had some cereal for lunch. The fan in our bathroom hasn't worked for... Uh, probably a couple years now. 
We kept sending them maintenance requests, so like, hey, will you fix the fucking fan in the bathroom? And they finally got around to it, so... That's cool. Of course, now the bathroom is all, like, molded all out. Like a Resident Evil 7. So, you know, there's that. Come here, buggy Lloyd. Alright. So, check it out. There's a save point here. And then here, there's a health station. And I'm still full. I didn't even take a hit through all that. So, now I'm heading back... This way. Yeah, so now the house is in proper working conditions. Okay, I remember this puzzle. Vaguely. There we go. Yep, there we go. Perfect. Perfect. I have done it. Okay, now hopefully that should be everything. Okay, so those tracked a little bit, I guess. It's really weird how they static out. I'm not sure I understand that completely. Hmm? Oh boy. I did this puzzle perfect the first time. Or did I? Okay. Following. Mm-hmm. Hey, I did the puzzle off screen. I, uh, I just wanted to stop fucking with it. All right. The airlocks have not... What do you mean the airlocks haven't been sealed, Leela? I just did all these fucking puzzles. What about the airlocks makes them not sealed? Okay, I'm here. It's the first airlock. The wall adjacent to the door. The second door. Okay. Let's see if we can't guide our little spaceshipman. How dare you, sir? I'm trying to solve a puzzle. Nope, going the wrong way. Okay, so it should be this little zigzaggy point here, right? Okay. So... What about it? What's happening? Okay. Okay. 
Is it this thingy? I've never gone down here. Oh, right. I've been down here, but not in this life. Oh, God. Come on, where are you? Well, now I should be good to run out of here, right? Theoretically. This game's good. This is a thing that I suspect they were like, hmm. You know? I wonder why they bade me, uh, like, wait until the airlock was completely closed. Damn you. Like, will the game actually glitch out and not permit me? Passage. Do these guys spawn infinitely? Or is it because I just did the airlock thing? <laughs> you can still use it from in here, that's funny. Alright, let's see if I can't figure out this place. Yep, this is this thing. So how am I meant to close this? Uh-huh. One mo. Hey, I'm back. Turns out that I wa everything was okay. I was just being a ding-dong. Could work. I will begin the decompression process in a moment. I finished debriefing the civilian crew you rescued a few hours ago. Only groups to survive long contact with the aliens that I've been able to talk with. Maintain the aliens were loading as many humans as possible onto the shuttlecraft and flying to the four mother ship. I watched many shuttles bring supplies to the aliens, but I had no idea they were carrying humans back to the ship. I'll brief you on your next mission when you arrive. You may not go exactly where I want you to because there's interference in the computer net. Good luck. Teleport when ready. Okay. Experimental vacuum chamber? I'm not going to like this, am I? Oh, that. Been a lot of cuts in this episode. So I've always wondered... Something that I could, like, shoot shoot them in there. I mean, I can, but... I meant the little buttons. Huh. Not entirely sure where the way forward is. Let's be frank here. I'm in a maze of... I mean, I'm not even in a maze. Just... In a wall, I'm I'm in I'm in a I'm in an octagon. The drop on the grenades is actually pretty interesting. Wow, they are just giving me a whole lot of these. <laughs> All right, I just checked the walkthrough. Um, apparently, yeah, I am. Sorry, just adjusting that. Apparently I am, in fact, supposed to shoot a grenade through one of the switches. Oh, there you go. Ring-a-ding-ding. -ding. Nice, 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 nice. 
Oh, and then I can just open these like normal. Unexpected lull in the fighting. I don't know why, but the aliens have stopped their advance. I want to use this break in the fighting to send a message to Earth apprising them of the situation. The long-made transmitter has been destroyed, and you, manly, you must manually reset the secondary. You'll need to go to the G4 sunbathing landing station. It'd be foolhardy to send you into vacuum conditions with a better vacuum capable than a pistol. The AR-75 doesn't work in a vacuum. I want you to find a Zeus-class fusion pistol. It has two firing modes, standard firing ejects volts, and secondary fire... Charges on transmission error and ejects a blast that does a huge amount of damage. Bypassing through traffic. Should find it here. Okay, cool. So now we're like explicitly arming up. That's kind of rad. Oh god, this sound is bad. Okay, so this is our first new weapon. <laughs> okay okay interesting interesting holy shit that's a lot of grenades <laughs> Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on. It's overhealing me. Interesting. God, I'm just turning them into mulch. Oh. Is that guy invisible? I think he is. Whoa. So now I'm getting overhealed. Interesting. I wonder what determines that. Can't get in through there. Okay, but now the... F yeah, the big room's open up to full. And I probably just have to shortcut through here. Till I find... And I've got this thing to play with as well. So, my weapons won't work in vacuum. That's... frustrating. Okay, got a good amount of ammunition for this thing, which will apparently be useless. Huh. Oh, yeah, apparently I missed a, a secret last mission. Whoa, the whole thing, huh? Ah! He's got just like a regular ass machine gun. Okay, it's not terrible. It's, it's not a bad gun. It's not amazing. Uh, the shields were really useful there. I think I might even take uh, reduced damage with the shield on. Oh, man. This game's really cool. Now, at some point, I do also want to be able to get back to the, the lobby, essentially. I'm, I'm going to call it the lobby. Okay. Shloop. Oh, here we go. Now, hopefully that'll just stay open. God damn it. <laughs> Alright, maybe that was all I needed. Oh god. Okay, so that was the fusion pistol. I've got that now. We're go for we're go for that. Uh, can I charge up some more? Can indeed. 
Interesting. Damn it. Having to wait on the up is kind of frustrating. I will say. Oh, so it's actually a projectile. Okay. And then it shoots a big projectile. Okay. It looks like it has a relatively slow reload. Interesting. Um, so a hit scan weapon is something like this, where you pull the trigger and bullets will appear at the location where you're shooting. In computing terms, they appear at the location where you're shooting uh, randomly. This is to allocate for things like the spread of a shotgun or an AK. Okay, so this is the shortcut back. So I think if I do that, this door will just stay open. Yeah, you can turn off some switches in the middle of their animation. And it'll basically stick them where they are. Oh man, monster closets, huh? Yeah, the difference between hit, uh, hit scan and projectile is that a projectile weapon actually shoots a thing. Okay. I'm hearing noise. Is it that? Oh, we're bringing that on down, huh? Big ammos. Got 34. So does this bring me back up? It do. Okay. And this is still open. Good. So if I wouldn't have been an idiot, we could have just circumvented this whole thing. So... Let's head back. This is cool fusion, not cold fusion. Also, not cold storage. Oh, wait. So, I can probably go up the same way, huh? Yeah, and there's a thing over there. Run! All right. Oh, cool. Oh, man. It's kind of weird that they, they like, go staticky when shot. You know what, actually? I've got more of these. Whoa! Do those crush you into the ceiling? Okay. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna backtrack, and I'm gonna grab some stuff. So, it turns out that I uh, cannot backtrack on account of um, the elevator doesn't go back down. They almost have, like, spines, or maybe they have braids? Fascinating creatures. So yeah, I couldn't backtrack, which makes me look like a real pig's ear. Good space texture. So that whole thing goes up. Interesting. I should probably use this a little more. Yep, there it goes. 
um, considering it's the new toy they probably want me to play with, but like, oh man, this thing is so useful. Oh yeah, also, I got uh, crushed into the uh, ceiling, and I lost the rest of my shields. Woo. See, one of the things about Doom that I really enjoyed was that uh, you could... God, I'm back here. I don't understand. Okay. So if I go here. One of the things about Doom is that you, uh, could always loot the chain gun and shotgun off of dead humans. Okay, so hopefully that'll do what I want, right? Okay. Okay, so that lowered this, which means that now I can actually backtrack. And in fact, I have to. Because I need to get back to the thing, right. 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 So I just go through here, right? So does this just give me shield? Nope, it does both. Oh, it's a little thing that says 2x there. Now I'm pretty much full up on this, too. Okay, that'll go back down. I don't... Okay, cool. I don't want to have to do all that bullshit again. I should probably save. God damn it. There was a save point around here somewhere, right? in here yes it was there was one closer as well but so my other things won't work in a, uh in um deep space then huh all right game saved bloop okay, full up now we just gotta wait for you So it looks to be that there is a just straight up ceiling up here. Forgot where I was going. Okay, I'm heading that way. Yeah, it looks like there's this just straight ceiling up there. And I don't want to get crushed into it. On the other hand, I may as well give it a shot. It's not like I, you know, I'm missing out on anything. I did just save. Well, there you go. Back we go. So my earlier theory was correct. I did just want to test the opposition just to see if it would work. It was out of luck. There we go. Sir, please. Whoa. Very simple colors. Come on. There you go. 
Oh, boy. Oh, are they totally home? Oh, I hate these things. They might be the worst. I hate those things a lot. Oh, I'm full. Okay. Oh boy, oh boy. I'm naked as the day I was born. Don't have any shields on me. Just gonna grab some health if that's okay with everyone. What's the other one? Alright, is there a closer save point? Because I do want to save. What? Did... This pistol is not great, I will say. So it looks like those four followed me. That's four as in the race, not the... that There's four of them. There we go. Man, I, I don't feel very protected by my armors. Like, in Doom, having armor is, like, so good. But in this game, I really... I'm not feeling it, you know? So interesting that they had the, the concept of, like, overheal and shield this early, though. Leela! I obtained more debriefing reports from the crew you rescued earlier. They reported seeing two types of four that you have not encountered. These are two of other clans Durandal alluded to in earlier communications. One is taller than the fighters. Oddly, the report never indicated this new four fired only on other four, not on humans. The crew saw them refer to them as enforcers. The other alien was named Hunter. <laughs> Interesting. It's armored, and it fires an Andre weapon. It never takes prisoners. Teleporting you to the G4 sunbathing landing facility. Okay. Cursory examination of the Marathon's radar, infrared, and visual light sensor logs. I've determined that the alien ship has a faster than light drive because I found a record of the ship entering the Tau Ceres system. Because of how extensive the Marathon sensors are, it'd be almost impossible to conceal a ship as big as the fours, which is nearly two kilometers. With this knowledge, sending a lightspeed transmission to Sol may be futile, but it's the only possible way to warn Earth of a hostile race, so we must try. When the aliens have initially attacked, the entire G4 sunbathing loading facility suffered explosive decompression, leaving the entire station in vacuum. Since there is a vacuum, you'll need to replenish your oxygen. There's an O2 supply outlet in the center of the station. Here's where you are. Here's the dish array. Reset all four control switches. And then go here. Oh man, I don't feel good about this. Oh. Well, that'll help. Who? Oh, boy, here we go. I hate, like, the wizards. The space wizards are probably my least favorite, especially you. <laughs> okay. Oh man, with a projectile, you really have to lead the target. On the other hand, they also all have projectiles. And they don't appear to be as good as leading it as I am. Oh, is that blue the oxygen? Woo! Woo! Okay. Should have seen that one coming, huh? Okay. Okay. 
Okay. So if I just hold this thing, I can just let this go whenever, right? I really like how it's just freaking out in his hand. Oh, damn. Oh, well. Oh, so the pistol still works in space, but this thing doesn't. Damn. Let's just give it a try, you know? See what the... See what he thinks of it. Anyone else? Does anybody else want some? Okay. So Leela's deal is that she just didn't want to send me into space with just the shitty pistol. Or into vacuum, which is different from just into space. Are there parts of space where there just isn't a vacuum? Okay, so that's probably the override, right? Oh, it's an airlock I'm cycling here. Oh god, that's gruesome. It's just gone. Yeah, this is some real Doom shit here. In Doom, there's this thing that you can do where you toggle a door while also... Okay, cool. Uh, you toggle a door while also shooting through it, so uh, the aliens can't react fast, or the demons, rather. Demons cannot react fast enough. Uh, and I feel like that kind of, like, cover shooting, that that shit that is almost... Uh, why do they give me ammo for a gun I can't use? That'll be the hunter. Oh my god, that thing is really scary. Kind of wish I could get a better look at it. That thing is really cool looking. Cycle the airlock. Whoa, I just got really disoriented. Oh, that's this airlock. Gung, 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 gung. But yeah, I feel like the, uh, the way that it takes... It's so easy to just, like, do that cover shooting thing in Doom. I feel like that was a major motivation in making a lot of modern shooters make it so you have to hold the button. Because, like, in Halo, you hold RB to activate stuff. Okay. I feel like a motivator in that was to prevent that sort of thing from happening in... Modern shooters... Excuse me. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Oh god. Oh boy. This ain't this is a huge area. I should probably have cut the episode. We'll go until I die. How about that? That'll be sure to stretch it out. Okay, okay. So I wonder if the um, atmosphere thing is level to level. Or uh, if it's like on a basis of... Okay, where am I now? Or if it they actually have coded certain areas to drain the oxygen. Okay, now I'm back here. You know, this is actually a good place to cut it anyway. Uh, this has been Marathon. I've been Alfred. Um, game's very good. Having a lot of fun. Uh, it is old and it has a little jank on it, but that's okay. I will see you guys next time. I've been Alfred. Bye.